next movement is entitled Newton. I, I have been told um, that Newton was kind of an important scientist. Uh, <laughs> Sir Isaac Newton, I don't know. Uh, but the piece is based off of a few different things. I have some notes here. Uh, <clears throat> the first thing is that Newton was actually a follower of Copernicus and Galileo. And so the movement Newton follows Copernicus and Galileo. So that's how it ended up in the third. Which is kind of an interesting story. Um, <clears throat> it is also the center of all five movements. And it features the tuba, which is kind of the center of the brass quintet, as you can see. Uh, hence why I'm up here, because it features the tuba. Yeah. So, uh, some interesting facts about that. So, it was also inspired, Newton was actually, uh, I didn't actually realize this, he was actually a devoutly religious man. And he, uh, <clears throat> and so, the composer decided that he uh, was going to base this piece off of a Bach chorale. The Bach chorale is, I'm going to butcher the German, all right? So just be prepared for that. I'm going to butcher the German, all right? It's not very good. Wir schöner Lichtet der Morgenstern, which means how beautifully shines the morning star. Um, and so the tuba will have this chorale in the, middle of the, in the middle of this movement, and the other instruments will kind of intertwine within that. Um, <clears throat> also, the piece is inspired by Newton's first and third laws, which his first law is the one where uh, an object will stay at rest, and an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted on by an outside force. So, like if I got if I got Kevin to push me, the only thing that's going to stop me is either gravity, the ground, or my friend Nick here. So, you know, if, if Kevin pushed me and I just hit Nick, this is the outside force that has stopped me. And the way that he depicts this musically is so. Say, for example, my other good friend, Dr. Brown, over here, is sitting here going, da -de -da -de -da -de -da -de -da -de da -de -da She can't stop until somebody else in the ensemble stops her. And so then we have to wait for the second trumpet to come in with that same motive, and then she finally stops her. Um, and so that's kind of how that's depicted musically. Um, it's also based on Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And so you will very often hear for the ensemble will have crescendos which will then be followed by, guess what, a decision, right? So every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So I hope you enjoy Newton.